Back to Time's Up a little bit. I know recently, and obviously we've all been following the story, and one of the big things when stuff sort of started boiling over is like, what is the action going to be? What are we going to see change? So recently SAG after it did try to make some changes when it came to where people are holding meetings and they limited to where those meetings should be held. Do you think that's a good step? You know, what else would you like to see sort of in the near future? What do you think changes could be made in the near future? Are you talking just specifically like overall to the entertainment business? Yeah, I or think to overall guilds? to the entertainment business since that's sort of been the jumping off point for a lot of it. Well, you know, um, I think that inclusion is the message of the century and that includes sort of the conversations I'm having with this book. And, and certainly in the inter- entertainment business, it is, um, it goes without saying that, uh, you know, it is so slanted towards... Um, the voices of white men from not not only, you know, the work that's made, but also the reviewers that review the work so that things can't even succeed that are not outside of the male gaze. That's a real problem. But the fact that people are calling it out and speaking so openly to it now, and the fact that, you know, like the Academy just brought in like a record number of, uh, of women and women of color and people of color into the Academy to vote. And I think that that's a huge step, doing things like that and saying, okay, the people who are gonna be voting for awards going forward, it's going to look like the world we live in. It's not just going to look like, you know, the world of the past. 